All right, I'm here with the happy uh, Seth Wilkerson, head football coach of the Buckingham Knights. His team went to 28-7 to over Central Lindenburg to move to 7-0 and here. Coach, uh, Tuesday night football, we're used to seeing Friday night lights. How did you guys get ready for this one? And I know they struck first, but you battled back and finished up really strong tonight. Yeah, we were just able – we're starting to come together as a team. Um, they're really pulling for each other, and we had a bye week last week to get ready for them. So I think we were prepared. It's a 14-7 ball game after you answer their score. Both teams scoring on some fourth down conversions, which you did throughout the night, third and fourth down key plays. The interception by Will Motley as they were starting to put a drive together before the half. How much was that a momentum boost going to halftime in your eyes? Uh, that was big. We wanted to make sure we kept them out the end zone right there before halftime, so that was a big play. You've had success over the years here at Buckingham, and I know the line of scrimmage is such a big deal. Speak on just those unsung heroes in the trenches tonight. I could call out a whole bunch of guys, but in particular, guys like Maurice Tyree on defense, and I think Emerson Edmonds really just made some unsung hero type of plays and sacrifices throughout the night. Yeah, well, both of those are good players for us, you know, and been in the weight room all off season. just good leaders, good people. I know there's a lot of mutual respect for both you and Coach Thomas at Lunenburg and what they do, what you guys do. What was the key tonight going into this game to kind of get the lead and maintain it in your eyes? Uh, we just knew we had to be ready. Uh, Central's always got a good squad every year. They're always prepared, always always a team we have circled before the season starts. So I was just happy we came out and did what we did. Sure, and I know the all-time series was 17-17 because you get the leg up under this one tonight. A few more for you. Uh, your two backs, uh, Jaden Maxey, and you have more than just two backs, but Jaden Maxey and Will Motley tonight. Maxey runs for 139 yards on 20 attempts, had a touchdown pass, and then Motley caught one, threw one. Those two guys have been leaders for you. What have they meant to your program this year just in general? Well, they've, they've been with me since their sophomore year, and uh, just two great kids, just two great leaders, and good football players. Just they. Do it and do everything we ask of them. Just great leaders. You're known for the physical approach, but the halfback pass, they're talking about that. You got a couple of key completions that loosen up the defense there, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> sure. Last two for you. Um, to, to be 7 0 for the first time in, in 14 years of Buckingham, it's got to feel nice, but I know there's also the hunger for more. What would you kind of attribute what's working well for you guys this year? Uh, just this team coming together. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we got a bunch of players at the beginning of the year. Throughout the year, they, they've just come together and played for each other. That was the thing both your guys talked about, the chemistry, the camaraderie of this group, both Motley and Maxi. Lastly, you know Region 2B is, is no picnic. A lot of good football teams, and you're one of them. What's it going to take for you guys to be making noise come November in the playoffs? Just keep working to get better each week. That's a big thing, trying to stay healthy and work each week. Well, the fun atmosphere tonight, Buckingham High School. Coach Booker, some of the nights get done. Thank you so much. All the best. Yes, appreciate it, buddy. And Haley.